I got rid of all my KTMs, got rid of all my bikes, thought I was done. <laughs> you guys know better than that. Um, ended up picking up WR. Ran into the problem of, okay, now I don't have a GPS unit to guide me on my tracks. So a lot of people are using the CarPlay stuff. Um, I looked into that and I figured, you know what? CarPlay is cool, but there's one additional thing that I would like to be able to do. And the iPad mini, I got a Gen 5, has been phenomenal at weeding out some of the issues I've had with the Skydio as far as losing it. Um, I can connect it directly. I can connect the Skydio and the iPad directly to it and fly it. It's awesome. Um, works just like a normal remote. Uh, or I can go from the iPad to the beacon to the drone, which is even better. My problem was not being able to see it when I was on my bike. Hence, the, here's where the iPad comes in. I can not only use Gaia, um, All Trails is my preferred uh, GPS app. Um, I don't have to take my eyes off the trail as much as I would with a little cell phone. This, you just glance at it. So, what I went and did was, I looked into the quad lock. I've heard a lot of good things about them. Um, First thing you're going to need to do is I ended up buying a case off eBay. I will leave links in the description below for everything. Um, so I got a good heavy case for the iPad. It's already been mounted. And this has got, this is rubber around the edges. Uh, it's been in here a while. You can tell it's kind of uh, scratched up. Um, so get a good case because you don't want your iPad going bouncing down the freaking trail. Now to the quad lock system. So I went ahead and I chose the handlebar clamp mount. You can see this bolt right here. Well, this replaces your M8 in your uh, fork clamp is what I'm going to call it. Now, I wanted to go middle of the bars as much as possible. You're not going to go any more center than this lock right here with the bar mount because I do have a Scots and that does limit what I can put around the center of the bar. So I figured, okay, we'll use this. They do make others. They make um, a brake reservoir. They make a uh, mount, and they make a clamp, typical clamp mount. I went ahead and went with this one. Strongly recommend a vibration dampener. You guys know why. Because the cameras and the iPhones tend to get real wonky if they get vibrations. I've heard some of the Androids do it too, but I have never run into that problem with the Android. 10 millimeter extension arm, which I am hoping I can move. That probably goes like this. I can go from the mount and center up the iPad pretty well and be able to have a little bit more manipulation of where the iPad is situated. Now, what they will not tell you and this kind of irritated me a little bit, is when I put this in my cart, this and this, okay, the dampener and the extension arm were recommended to buy with this. It used to be when you bought a quad lock system, you had to buy a phone specific case so you could use the quad lock system. Well, about a year ago or so, they brought out what they call the universal adapter, which I have right here. They did not recommend this at all. So I got all this and realized, oh, wait, I need to do a case. Did I waste my money? This right here was about 70 bucks. We're looking at about 25 for the case. So now I'm out 100 bucks. Well, a little digging. They make two universal adapters. They make this one right here, which is a typical... Uh, twist and lock and they make a magnetic one well the magnetic one only is rated for 200 grams that's what they tested it at and I'm sure they didn't test it at 200 grams of weight of working weight 
on a dual sport going down a rocky trail or even a gravel road for that matter. Well, just the iPad mini, and this is a Gen 5 again, is 300 grams. Put the case on it, I scaled it out, 306 grams. That is a pound and a half. My concern will be, will this system hold up to that much weight and not move around? We're gonna find out. The other thing I noticed is, Apple is very proud of their products. With that being said, this is the back side of the uh, case for the iPad. I want this to go dead center. Again, I'm trying to center everything up. Could I put it here or here? Yes, but then you're gonna have your weight is gonna be not evenly dispersed. So the lucky thing, good thing about this case is it's got a solid back, okay? Now, it does have a kickstand. You can hold it like this or hold it like that. Generally, I would throw the back portion, the, the cover away, but then I wouldn't have anywhere to stick my adapter. Here's my idea. Here it snap into place. Okay, that is, that is secure. That is real secure. So now I'm gonna put the universal adapter on the back side of this. What makes this nice is you wanna take a picture you don't have to sit there and unstrap it. You just unclip it, it comes out, you take your picture, you put it back, you don't have to remove this from the quad lock system. Or, when you're done, unlock it, take it out, snap it in, and you're protected again. I wasn't planning that. I don't know if it'll work. I'm kind of concerned about the porous material on the back, but a little sandpaper, a little bit of ingenuity, and I'm sure that'll be just fine. Uh, hell, even some Gorilla Glue to stick it on there permanently, it is not gonna go anywhere. So anyway, we are gonna go ahead, we're gonna get all this stuff installed on the bike. We're gonna get the adapter installed on the back of the case, and I'll show you guys what the finished product look like. Hopefully this will work out. If anybody has tried anything like this with an iPad, now granted it is a mini, um, with an iPad, with the CarPlay, whatever, leave a comment below. I'd like to hear about your experiences with any of the systems. Um, I'm always up to change. I'm always up to try something new. And if it's better, hey, I'm all for it. Like I said, Will this thing move around? Will it stay stable? That is an awful lot of weight for a little device like this. Again, this magnetic one is also wireless charging, but 200 grams, that's the weight of your cell phone basically. There ain't no way it's gonna hold even a iPad without it falling off and bouncing down the road. So anyways, we're gonna get it installed I've rambled enough, um, wish me luck. Real quick, the mount that screws into your clamp comes with two different size spacers. You may need them, you may not. On the WR, what I did was, there is a slight difference. So, we'll try this one. Okay, that's not gonna be enough bite, okay? This one, Oh, just it does the replacement is a little bit longer so we'll go ahead and put this short one hopefully this will work because it's the last one we got all right look at that if you look at that we're looking at the same length between the original OEM bolt and the mounting bracket that's going to go into your bar clamp so I just wanted to point that out real quick um, Make sure you get close to the same length as you possibly can. That way you don't have to sit there and you keep trying to do different spacers. You're just, you're one and done, okay? Remember, there's a couple spacers. I'm still figuring out how to put this together. 
Um, but anyways, that's one of the things I have run across and I think we're getting it. So let's get back to it. One thing I did do is I measured from this point to this point, this point to this point, dead center was 70 millimeters. Okay. Then I measured this from this point to this point was 60 millimeters. I split the difference to the middle. <coughs> and what I came up with was dead freaking center. Use my truck. Well, I'm out of that now. Use the acetone. What was nice was the acetone reacts kind of weird to certain plastics. This plastic was no different. See how it's really porous? It actually smoothed out the porousness of the case, giving this a very good surface area to bond to. That was one of the things I was worried about. So that's one less thing to worry about. So we got it. It sits a little bit higher than I'd like. It's going to take some finessing and some manipulating, but I think I've got it almost ready to show you. Anyways, that's another little thing I wanted to show you. Um, really easy to do. Bam. It's done. Took me five minutes to center it up. Like I said, you don't want it too wonky. You don't want it too far over. You want the weight evenly as dispersed as possible. Here's your setup. Okay. So you have this little cap right here comes off and it is a really odd sized nut head. It's not a 13, it's not a 12, it's not a half, it's not a 9 16 It's in between all of them. Uh, the half inch fits on very, very, very snugly, and you almost have to use, I believe it was a 14 to do it, or just use a crescent wrench. I don't like the crescent wrenches because I like to strip stuff out. But anyway, um, that's pretty much the only advice I can give you. And then the, see it doesn't move at all now without that big heavy iPad on it. It don't move at all. I mean, that's, so the vibration dampener, eh, we'll see what happens. It looks like it moves a lot, but we'll put the iPad on it and then uh, we'll see how much movement is there. Again, iPad is pretty freaking heavy, so, but it does look like it's pretty high. I was looking to get clearance to be able to get into the key and be able to get into the Scots easier. Um, another little addition I made, I know it's big, it's bulky. There's not a lot of room on this bike to add the stuff I normally would, but it does have a switch. It is upside down, but it does have a gauge for your battery as far as it'll go green and it'll show your current voltage and it has an on off switch it's backlit and you have a USB-C and a USB port and these are high fast chargers I plug my block into my cell phone and with the wall block that goes into your wall in your home your 110 it said it was going to take an hour and 10 minutes to charge from 38 percent i plugged it into the usb-c on this and it actually cut 10 minutes of charging time off it said it was only going to take an hour and eight minutes or something like that so this thing was like nine bucks on amazon i don't know where i got it i don't know how to change it from celsius to degrees but I really don't care how hot it is outside. So anyway, there you go. There's the quad lock. We're going to get the iPad on it and we'll show you guys what it looks like. I got, you have plenty of room to reach the key switch. It actually sits really, really high. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is I am going to take this piece out right here. Because I don't really need that adjustment. I think it'll be fine without all that. The other thing I do not like. Can you see how much that damn thing just moves? Uh, I don't know. This is the vibration dampener. Look at that thing move. 
Now, is that going to irritate me? I mean, that is an awful lot of moving. We're going to keep on tweaking it, and we're going to see what we come up with. Anyway, that's basically it. Okay, so just real quick, again, here's my voltmeter and my USB. It's out of the way. I know it's big and bulky, but that's all I had to work with for now. The Scotch really limits what you can put on your bars as well as the Zeta Bark Busters. Anyway, so let's kill it. And you, I mounted this up. You can get to the key pretty easily. You still are going to hit it a little bit. But I took the arm out to drop it down. So as you can see, okay, as you can see, it dropped it down quite a bit. It really did. The only other option I have is to shorten this bolt right here so that it even drops down more. But that's going to require re-threading it and a bunch of stuff which I'm not really feeling like tackling today. There's really only one way to test this thing out. Yes, I am in shorts. I'm not really set up to ride. But I want to get a look at what I can do, now see if I have it this way, it's big. If I turn it sideways, it is small. So, um, you know, I'll show you what I mean. See if I keep going, yay, 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 yay. I am still, there we go. Okay, see, it's not, there we go. See how small it is? That's what I'm saying if I, operated two apps I could have one over here the maps I could have my drone over here I'll have this plugged into my power supply so it's always charging um, come on there we go where's the X it's really hard to see in the daylight I need to adjust the brightness on it so we'll just go ahead and we'll do that Map type. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump on. Like I said, I don't know where any of the brightness or anything is, but look at this. I can get to the key switch pretty easy. Okay. Let's see what happens when I drive drive around. I may not. E it may not even bug me much. Can you guys see how much it moves? going to go backwards I want to see so I'm going to pull my camera down so my camera is focused on the iPad and I can focus on where I'm freaking going I don't even know where my trail is anymore to tell you the honest truth ah here we go here we go here we go Oh, that tree is a hell of a lot lower than it used to be. Woohoo! Damn! And I think we come up here somewhere. And we kind of go around. Oh, my knee is freaking just killing me. Uh huh. See, bug in my freaking mouth. I don't know where I'm going. Oh well, I lost the trail. So we're just gonna ride. All right. Here's a nice little gnarly bump. Ow, I really should be wearing boots in here. There is shit. Oh, there's part of my old trail right there. Can you guys, are you having any problems seeing it? So we're going. Damn, I gotta prune this stuff. Now I'm trying to get the camera focused. Damn, I gotta come out here and clean. Have you guys been able to focus on that? What do you guys think? Whoa, almost ran in a fence. Thought I was my Skydio for a minute. That thing loves that fence. Do another little pass here. Hello. Out here. 
out here, guys. I am not gonna. I'm not pushing it. I'm in shorts, tennis shoes. We are gonna head back. So, you guys kind of got the gist of it. What do you think? Should I ditch the? Uh, should I ditch the vibration mount or what? I guess we'll find out when I watch the video. Hopefully, I can see the video. Uh, anyway. We're gonna go ahead and put this thing away, wash a couple cars, get ready for work tomorrow. Yay! My long week. Uh, I've still got a couple more videos to do. As far as uh, oops, kicks down in gear. Um, I've still got a couple more videos to do. As far as uh, some luggage I picked up. I went ahead and picked up a couple new things for camping new pillow new sleeping pad new backpack this was my old gear i also picked up these rhino walk bags i know a couple of my buddies have used them i didn't know that they were using them they love them um i've heard a few people complain that they don't stay tight hey sim sim no oh, catahoula um, I've got a 10 liter and I've got a 20 liter. I can tell you right now, my brand new sleeping quilt in a compression sack, pillow, and my sleeping pad will all fit in a 10 liter bag. So that is pretty damn impressive. <laughs> have any questions, any comments, leave them down there in the comment section below. If you haven't had a chance, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We're out of here. Thanks for watching till the end. And as always, ride safe.